Hi, my name is Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to work on your six pack muscles. Of course, we're going to strengthen up the core in the same time, and there's going to be only nine exercises, but we're going to perform 30 seconds twice, all right? So try to put those notes down and get the most out of these exercises. Our first exercise is a reverse crunch. We're going to lie down on the floor, arms on the floor, knees 90 degree angle. We're pulling those knees as close as we can to your chest and we're slowly relaxing back to a 90 degree angle. Upper body is relaxing, arms on the floor supporting, relaxing the neck, looking up into the sky. So first 30 seconds starts in 3, 2 and let's go. Remember, pulling those knees as close as we can to your chest and we're slowly returning those knees back down to a 90 degree angle. Now if it's too hard, you can extend those legs straight off the floor and pull back them to a 90 degree angle. It's still going to have a great load over our rectus abdominis or the main six pack muscle area. Remember, you have option, legs in to a 90 degree angle or from the 90 degree angle to your chest. We have 10 more seconds on this reverse crunch. Stay focused, relaxing the neck, pulling those knees into your chest, feeling the tension, last three, last two, and relax. Dropping those legs for a second, starting to feel the pain or the heat there is a great sign of intensity. One more round, 30 more seconds, arms on the floor in three, two, one, let's go. Knees to your chest, if you can, you point away with your toes, so you're increasing the length of your limb, and giving a bit more intensity through your rectus abdominis. Remember, you always have an option here to extend those legs away, feeling the heat over your abs. Absolutely fantastic effort, team. We're halfway there already. Last 15 seconds, less than that now. Thinking about nice dinner or lunch, depends on what time you're doing it. Steady and strong. Last five seconds. Three, two, and relax. All right, exercise number two is a tuck crunch. So we're going to drop your arms in line with your hips. We're going to slightly tilt back, chest up. We're going to pull those knees to your chest and we extend those legs away. Now, if you need, you can extend those legs and drop the legs down on the floor to make it slightly easier. I expect nothing less than a fight from you. So remember, 30 seconds, knees to chest, sitting upright. Three, two, one, let's go. Steady and strong, remember, it's 30 seconds and it's not a race. There are no winners in this game. As long as you can maintain the quiet, steady pace, you are a champion here. Focus and feeling the work of your rectus abdominis. Try to relax the neck, bracing your core, breathing in and breathing out. We have 12 seconds, keeping that push pretty steady and strong. So close. Last five, feel the burn. Three, two, and relax. Ah, feeling it already. Few seconds to get that breath back. Feeling it. Rectus abdominis takes all that load. Round two in this tuck crunch exercise. Chin up, tilt back, relax the neck. 30 more seconds with your options. Anything that works for you, let's go. Join me when you are ready and keeping that push through your rectus abdominis. Remember, if you need to, while you extend, you can drop the legs, pick the legs in, out, and drop. Remember, relaxing the neck, it's your own fight, so you do whatever you can to stick till the end. We have 12 seconds. My core is shaking. Wow, it touches really well those muscles. Hang on, team. We have five seconds. Last three, two, and relax. Woo, small breath back. Give yourself a wipe if we need to. We're moving down, back on the floor for exercise number three. Exercise number three is a crunching clap. So we're gonna to try to get your legs as high as we can and as straight as we can. Arms above your head, we're gonna crunch, clap in here. We turn those palms back on the floor. We're keeping the legs as high as we can and as straight as we can. If we need our option, legs bend 90 degree angle, we tap your calves. Arms returning back on the floor. So 30 seconds, twice, starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Crunchy clap. So biggest applause to ourselves already by being able to complete this third exercise. Remember, now if it's too much, you bend those in the knees and the 90 degree angle, relaxing the neck and reaching with your shoulders. Wow, feeling the cool and especially the rectus abdominis. The 
main six pack area on fire. Nearly there, eight seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Last three, find your option. Last two, and relax. Woo! The fire escalates over the main core area. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, round two on your crunching pack. Pick those legs up, three, two, one, let's go. Now think about it. If you can, you reach with your shoulders, you're relaxing the neck as much as you can. And if you need an option, you bend those knees and tap over your calves. Remember, every rep count here, you're trying to raise your shoulder blades off the floor, trying to relax that neck and maintain that great push. So far, we're doing it really well. We have only 12 seconds. Come on, try to get the most out of this. Ah, feeling the heat? The body is shaking, it's a good sign of intensity. Choose a lower option if you need to. Five seconds, we're nearly there. Three, two, and relax. Woo. Give yourself a second to pull yourself back together. Breathe in and out. Take that tension off your core. All that six pack area of the rectus abdominis area is on fire. I'm feeling even the sweat coming out of my forehead. That's a great sign of intensity. All right, team, we're moving to exercise number four. Exercise number four is a scissors. So we will tilt back with a straight back and arm stays behind with soft bent elbows. We're gonna point your toes away and we introduce scissors so the legs are crossing each other away, all right? Now, if it's too hard, you can cross open, drop the legs on the floor, cross open, drop the legs on the floor. Again, twice for 30 seconds, so one minute of pure work on the scissors. Tilting back, chest up, relaxing the neck, starting in three, two, one, let's go. I'm sure that you're feeling that intensity and feeling that sweat. I'm asking for a mercy, but I still want to push together with your team. Remember, we tilt back, relax the neck, toes are pointing away, big crosses, feeling that effort going through your lower abdominal. The weak cuts on our core, we're nearly there, team. 10 seconds to go. Breathe in and out. Fighting through this. Control that body. Last three, two, and relax. Woo! Absolutely perfect work. Remember, if you need to rest and skip one of the rounds, feel free to do. If you can, you stay with the fight. We do our best to get the real load on our abdominals. This part, we are working more on that lower abdominal and the weak cut with the scissors. So remember, make a push, but if you need your rest, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Toes are pointing away, so making those legs really strong and straight, relaxing the neck, maintaining that effort. Toes are pointing away, relax the neck. Only the lower body is fighting through. Wow, feeling like in hell. The lower body is shaking. The legs are so straight, working really hard here. We have 12 seconds till the end. Control the pace. Remember, if you need your job, coming back into last five, last three, Two, and relax. Woo! Wow, brush that sweat off. Keep that bucket with the mop next to you in case we are starting to sweat really hard. I'd strongly advise to stay hydrated if you need to. If it's hot outside, you make sure you replace your liquids. All right, exercise number five. We're coming into our flutter kicks. So, legs are straight, toes are pointing away. This time we're enjoying by lying down on the floor. We're gonna get those legs straight up and down. Legs are lifting from your hips. And we go as high as we can and as low as we can without resting those feet on the floor. So, we're starting in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, it's like kicking in the water. Imagine that you are performing a swim and we're enjoying the swimming in the sea or the pool. Absolutely fantastic. Toes pointing away, so the straighter the leg, the more load on your actual lower abdominal will come here. We're a halfway over the team. Remember, if you need, you rest those legs on the floor, and if you can, you keep that off the floor. We have last five seconds, all or nothing here. Last three, two, and relax. Woo! The intensity is real, the fight also is real. 
fifth exercise is on the go, and then the second round in this exercise. Get yourselves ready. A flutter kick. The strike leg kicks. Imagine we are swimming in the sea. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh yes, here we go. Cool water, nice summer breeze. This is exactly takes me down to a holiday mood. Fantastic. Keeping that mind busy. Focus on your core work. Excellent push team. It's now or never. We have last 15 seconds. Let's get the most out of this exercise. Straight legs pointing away. Remember, you have an option. Rest that heel on the floor if you need to. We have five seconds here. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! That's a really intense push. I'm sweating like hell. Ooh. Have a small drink, have a small wipe if we need to. We're moving further. Exercise number six. We will roll over down into a plank position. So, soft elbows. We're looking down into the floor, straight back. Especially your shoulders and the hips. Well, most of the time, we'll try to maintain that straight line. Just like that, remember. Avoid of keeping hips too low or too high. Pick that neutral spine position, look down into the floor, soft elbows, and from here, we perform knee to elbow. So we're twisting that torso and hitting the side core muscles, the oblique work. All right, soft elbows, looking down into the floor, opposite knee to elbow, in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you control the speed, and if you like, you add a little bit more. Really important to keep those soft elbows here. Look down into the floor. It's not a race, but if you like to push yourself a little bit harder, you add that speed. Soft elbows, straight back. We're getting the most out of this. 10 seconds, all in, steady and strong. Remember, knee to opposite elbow, giving that twist through your torso. Last three, two, one, and relax. Dropping on your knees. Let's stretch those shoulders out. I can imagine lots of tension. Those arms and shoulders have to hold all body. It's really tough. All right, round two on the knee to opposite elbow. Soft elbows looking down into the floor. Are you ready to race? Not me, but yourself. In three, two, one, let's go. Knee to opposite elbow. Adding that speed if you like to. Focus on the range of motion. Hips low. That is as flat as you can, maintaining that push. We're still having another 15 seconds. Remember, all in here, we're not saving. This is the last time we're doing this exercise, so let's get the most out of this. Feeling the heat over the obliques. Last four seconds. Three, two, and relax. Knees down, reach out. Woo. Six exercises done. Shake the arms. Three more exercises to go. Brush that sweat. It's a perfect time to have that bucket with a mop ready to mop around if we need to. I would use a towel and make sure you stay hydrated. Exercise number two on your obliques or exercise number seven overall. We stay in the plank position. We reach with arm under. We open it up in the sky. Drop that arm down. We change the sides and exactly the same thing with the other side. Remember, hips stays as low as we can and then land with your shoulders. Now, if you need to, you drop your knees and do exactly the same thing with the opposite side. So, straight back, looking down into the floor, plank oblique rotations in three, two, one. Let's go. Reaching under really far, opening up. So, my eyes following my palm, reaching under and open. Hips staying as low as we can. Remember, the lower body is locked. So we're twisting and rotating through your torso, especially obliques. Remember, you don't rush about this move. You stay focused and steady. Reach under, open. Keep that palm in line with your shoulders like a great straight line. Steady and focus, as we have 10 seconds to go, team. Stay with me, challenge me, do not give up now. Last four. Three, two, and relax. Wow, again, I'm feeling like my shoulders are shaking like this. Don't you worry, it's not just you struggling with this exercise. This move is pretty hard. I'm feeling it also in my obliques, so think 
If you're not feeling it, you need a greater range of motion to twist that oblique. All right, 30 more seconds, plank position, head down, lower body locked, let's go. Reaching under, twist up, same thing on the other side. Remember, hips low, straight back, you're pushing it through this. Remember why you actually joined this exercise workout? And if you need, you drop those knees down on the floor to maintain the move. We still have 12 seconds. We're getting the most out of this swoop. Hips low and back is as straight as possible. Stay with me, team. Last five seconds. Last three, last two, last one. And we last. All right, team. Shake those arms. We are two exercises away from this finished workout. All right, we will take a seat back again. And we will carry on working on our obliques. All right, exercise number eight. We will have a tuck, crunch, and twist. So we basically twisting to the side where the leg is straight on the floor. We also tilting back, relaxing the neck, your arms as straight as possible. So if you pull that knee, you twist the arm to the leg which is straight on the floor. Now if it's too much, you just bend the knees, arms in front, and you twist side to side. Try to relax your upper body as much as you can and stay calm. I'm pretty sure you're already feeling the effect on that core and the body might be shaking. Ignore that, we are strong, we're going through this together. All right, 30 seconds to start with. Remember, knee to chest and we twist to the opposite side. We're twisting to the straight leg side. You know, you're going as far as your straight arms allows you. Try to relax that neck, chest up, straight back. Maintaining that push and staying really focused. Remember, you have an option. Bend those knees and just twist your torso side to side. <sighs> Steady and strong. Team, we have 10 more seconds. <sighs> last three, last two, last one. I mean, last. Woo! That's a really great push. I'm feeling it. Obliques is on fire. You can see probably there that my body is shaking a little bit. It's a sign that my muscles are already fatigued and the actual work being done on my core. All right, 30 more seconds and round two on the tuck crunch twist. Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember that leg extends down on the floor, tilting back, chest up, relax your neck, arms as straight as we can. This is the last time we're doing this move, so we're going to get the most out of this. Again, encouraging you to remember why you joined this workout and go hard and heavy on that core. Stay focused as every rep comes here. We have 12 seconds now or never. Steady and strong, maintaining that push. Ah. Last four, last three, two, and relax. Woo. All right, team, shake your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Wipe that sweat, shake it off. I hope you're feeling it still strong. And I hope you're feeling the effect on your core. We still have one more exercise to do here. And the exercise we will start with, we're gonna drop the legs down back on the floor and we're gonna perform a crunch. So your fists are together above your head. We're gonna crunch up and reach through your legs. Every time we're reaching through your legs, we breathe out. We breathe in, tap the floor above your head with your fist. And then we open it up, breathe out. Remember, it's twice 30 seconds and we're bringing that fight really strong together. Three, two, one, and let's go. Relaxing the neck and we'd rather reach with those fists and shoulders. Sharp look forward, remember why we are here and why we are fighting for. Staying focused with your goals. Every reach up counts, steady and strong. Crunching up, lowering that lower body. Now, if you need to drop that intensity, you don't reach above your head and you don't reach as far. So you're just reducing the range of motion. But if you can, let those arms to guide you through this move. We have only 10 seconds. So remember, it's all in here. It's a true fight to the end. Last four, last three, last two, and relax. Woo! I'm feeling I'm done. 
Still have one more round of 30 seconds. We're hitting that rectus abdominis one more time, truly with the all four power. Fits together above your head. Three, two, one. Final 30 seconds of our workout. Let's get the most out of this. Remember, the harder you go now, the more rewards you get later. Relaxing that neck and reaching with your shoulders. <sighs> Steady and strong. Breathe in, breathe out. Extending through those arms, reaching with your shoulders, lifting those shoulder blades off the mat. And if you need to go easier, you reduce that range of motion. We have 10 seconds. This is the end thing. No more to say. Till the end. Last four seconds. Last three. Last two. And relax. Woo! Just need a moment to get that breath back and a little recover. That was absolutely fantastic. Quick wipe and a drink. Now, if you're feeling the tension on your shoulders or on your lower back, I strongly advise you to drop your heels down. And you drop your hips down on your heels. Reach out with your arm, head down, reach as far as you can. From there, we drop your hips, arch your back and roll the head up to the sky, feeling that small stretch over the lower back. And relax. From there, we get your fists together and we twist side to side. Again, loosening up your core and especially your obliques and the back muscles. Erector spinae, steady and strong. And relax. So here we go. This is our nine exercises which will help you to improve the core strength and make sure we are starting to work on your six pack. So tune in and stay strong.